If you're watching this video, you're likely already familiar with using add-ons for World of Warcraft. As you know, add-ons allow players to customize their game experience in ways that are not possible with standard game interface. In this video, we're going to quickly show how to build your own add-ons. We're using the book World of Warcraft Programming, 2nd Edition by James Whitehead II and Rick Rowe. James and Rick have each created several popular add-ons, including Perfect Raid, Lightheaded, and Faction Friend. In addition to the book, you'll need a working copy of World of Warcraft and a text editor. I use Text Edit on my Mac to write the code for these examples. Notepad will work if you're on a Windows computer. You can also use fancier tools like Wow Lua, but we're keeping it simple here. We're following Chapter 14 of the book in this example, building an add-on called Combat Tracker. We'll build the interface and put in some functionality, and when we're done, we'll have an add-on that shows damage received during combat. We'll create three files for this add-on. First is combattracker.toc. Every add-on should have a TOC file. This file tells the game that the add-on exists, gives a description of what the add-on does that you can see in-game, and tells the game what other files are used for this add-on. Inside combattracker.toc, we type the description of the add-on and the associated file names. Save the file into your World of Warcraft forward slash interface forward slash add-ons folder inside a subfolder you create named Combat Tracker. Now create two more files in that same directory with your text editor. These should be named CombatTracker.lua and CombatTracker.xml. If you were to log into the game now and go to your add-on selection screen, you would see Combat Tracker in the add-on list with the description you wrote in the CombatTracker.toc file. Okay, now it's time to start building. Open up the empty XML file. First, we'll add the UI tag to tell the game where to grab the XML schema. Everything in the XML file goes inside the UI tags. Next, we'll add some XML code to define the shape of the visible part of the add-on. This shape is considered a button, so all this goes inside the button tag. In the first part of the XML file, we're defining the size and position of the button. It's going to go under the mini-map and we're going to make it movable. We'll add some more code to pick a background. For this example, let's use the standard dialog box background. Finally, we put in the front string code so that Combat Tracker will be able to display the data it receives from the Lua file. Save the XML file. If you log into the game at this point, you should see the Combat Tracker box appear under your mini-map. When I tried this the first time, I did not see the box, which I later found to be the result of a couple of typos I made in the code. So type carefully and save yourself some debugging time. Now go back to the XML file and add in the script handlers. These will be needed to write the output of the Lua file to the button. Save and close CombatTracker.xml and open up CombatTracker.lua. The first bit of code we add will set our time and damage variables to zero. Then we'll add code that tells WOW to watch for combat to start or for clicks or drags on the button from the mouse. In the previous steps, we defined what would be the body, eyes, and mouth of a creature if we were building a creature, which we're not. Now we add the brains, the big chunk of code that will fire when combat starts, track damage, and do the math. Type very carefully here. A typo might take hours to track down, unless you're awesome. All the number crunching is now done so it's time to add in the code that sends messages to the button. First, we add combat tracker underscore update text, which sends the numbers for length of time in combat, damage received, and DPS to the button. The last thing to add is the code that shares the combat statistics with your party. That's the function combat tracker underscore report DPS, which fires when you right click on the button. Save the Lua file, close it, and start up the game. On the character select screen, choose add-ons and make sure combat tracker is enabled. Enter the game with your character. Here you can see the new button just below our mini-map. Let's go start a fight and see what happens. Watch the text in the button as we shift into combat. As you can see, the text updates to show what we're fighting, and as combat ends, you can see the final results. Right-click the button to get the data to report to your screen. It shows up down in the chat window. And there you go. 
As simple as that, we've created a useful add-on for World of Warcraft with just a text editor, some very careful typing, and of course a copy of James Whitehead's book, World of Warcraft Programming 2nd Edition.